Welcome to United for Math. In this lesson, we're going to be focusing on the key words for problem solving. Understanding these key words is really key to being able to solve any word problem. If students have a great understanding of which terms go with which operation, they'll have no problem deciding what they need to do in each of their word problems. We're going to start first by looking at the key terms for addition. In addition, we have terms like sum, total, plus, in all, together, and, all together, and increased by. You'll notice that all of these terms seem to be increasing or getting larger. So let's take a look at a word problem where we're going to see one of these addition keywords. So in this problem we have, the pet store had 13 rabbits, 10 gerbils, and 8 hamsters. How many animals did they have all together? So we can see that keyword right here is all together. Our next operation is subtraction. When we're looking at subtraction problems, we'll see keywords like difference, minus, takeaway, and then a special group with the how many. So we have how many are not, how many fewer, how many remain, how many more or how many less, and also how many are left over. So when you see how many in a problem, you really want to take a look at what it's defining in that question. So let's take a look at a subtraction problem where we'll encounter some of these keywords. In this word problem, we have Max saw 28 monkeys and 18 elephants at the zoo. What is the difference between the number of monkeys and elephants he saw? Now our key word here is difference. That's also the answer to a subtraction problem. One thing that students often get confused about that term difference is that they're looking for characteristics. So if I gave this question out to students, they'd often want to tell me what the difference was between a monkey and an elephant. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the numerical difference, which means that we'll be subtracting. In our next set, we're going to be looking at the key terms for multiplication. In multiplication, you'll find terms like times, each, in all, twice, product, area, double, multiplied by, and even triple. You'll notice that some of those terms for multiplication are the same as addition. This is because we have to remember that multiplication is just repeated addition. When you see problems with multiplication, you'll often find terms like each and in all paired together. So keep an eye on those, and when in doubt, always draw out those problems. So let's take a look at a multiplication problem and find those keywords. In this problem we have, Lainey was making four grilled cheese sandwiches for her family. Each sandwich needed three pieces of cheese. How many pieces of cheese will Lainey need to make all of the sandwiches? So even though we have terms like how many, they're not paired up with fewer or less or left over. What we're really looking for are key terms like each sandwich. Now we need to know how many pieces of cheese she'll, she'll need to make all of the sandwiches. So how many could be one of the key terms? But really, we're looking for this key term each in this problem because that's going to tell us that we have different groups and there's a, a certain amount in each group. So that makes this problem multiplication. The last set of terms we'll be looking at will be those for division. Key terms for division include shared equally, half, same, split, quotient, divide, separate, equal groups, and how many in or on each. Those terms clearly indicate that we're splitting or separating into equal groups. So let's take a look at a division problem where we can find some of these keywords. In this problem, there are 18 children in the soccer league on three teams. If each team has the same number of players, how many players are on each team? So I see each a lot, and each is a term that's used in both multiplication and division. But we're looking if each team has the same number, and that includes breaking up equally, we want to find out how many are on each team. So this problem has 
several different examples of key terms that point directly to division. As we can see in that example, there were several key terms that were pointing straight towards division. So students will know exactly what they need to do to solve that problem. The same works for all the keywords. If they have a great understanding and can remember which keywords go with which operation, then they'll be able to solve any problem that they encounter. Sometimes they'll have multi-step problems where they'll see several of these different key terms and have to solve different problems within one large word problem. If they have a good understanding of those key terms, they'll know just what to do. And remember, when in doubt, draw it out. Always encourage students to create models to go along with their problem if they're struggling to figure out what step to do next. I hope this clears up key words for you and that you'll use it when you're using that cube strategy for word problems. Thank you again for joining us at United for Math. Thank you.